Hey everyone, this is Quack from the Philadelphia Triathlon Club. And for today's member spotlight, we have uh, a new member, Joy, who uh, recently joined the club. Uh, I've actually known Joy going back all the way to, to college. Um, and it's, it's one of the, those things where we've stayed connected throughout the years. And then part of that connection is doing some of the, the triathlon races uh, together several years ago. And I think having Joy on is a great spotlight because she recently is getting back into triathlon again. So wanted to share some of her perspectives and thoughts about getting back into the sport and uh, how PTC has been a part of that process so far in the, the last month or so. So welcome, Joy. Okay, thanks for having me. Awesome. So we'll get right into it. Where are you from originally and what area do you live in now? Yeah, uh, I was born in New York, uh, grew up in central New Jersey, and I have been in the Philadelphia area since graduating from college in 2003. Uh, I currently live in Yardley, PA, and uh, my current occupation is a application manager in information services uh, where we support enhance the electronic medical record for our hospital. Awesome. And then what originally led you into triathlons and then ultimately uh, joining Philadelphia Triathlon Club? Yeah. Um, so I, I really enjoy swimming. Uh, I really enjoy biking. I kind of like running, just to be honest. Um, <laughs> That's but how it goes a, for most folks. Yeah. So uh, a triathlon just seems natural so that I can have the ability to do all three. Um, I have intermittently been doing triathlons for about 10 years. Uh, have not done one since the beginning of the pandemic about two years ago. So I kind of feel like I'm starting a little all over again. Um, but, uh, you know, I have to say that the Philadelphia Tri Club, uh, they... Uh, have been very warm and welcoming me and have helped me get that extra boost of motivation and encouragement uh, that are currently active because I, I don't really have too many friends that are close by that I could train with. So I, uh, the virtual nature and being able to collaborate uh, online has been really helpful. Um, and really the PTC members, they don't care if I'm new or I'm getting back into it. Uh, they have shared their tips and tricks. It's it's really nice uh, for me because it, it feels like a, a, a safe space where I can ask questions of what kind of shorts do I buy and, you know, what's the latest trainer and, and how do I really get back into it? So, No, that's that's terrific to hear. And uh, interesting you mentioned the trainer. So um, I know within the, the last couple months, uh, moving up to a, a smart trainer has been one of those uh, upgrades that you've made. And then alongside with that, getting into the, the Zwift cycling application. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about how that's been going and, and how that's kept you uh, motivated uh, despite the, the winter months and, and not being able to bike outside? Yeah. Um, so I had no idea that uh, what a smart trainer was. I had a bike trainer that uh, didn't do anything. It just had a regular resistance. And so getting convinced to, to use a smart trainer in Magic with Swift seemed pretty, like it seemed like a pretty good idea. And, uh, you know, to be honest, it, it has made the process of getting trapped, like getting back into bike riding and triathlon so, so much easier. It's, it's like a game almost. Um, and when you're pedaling faster, you're going faster on your avatar is going faster on the, on the game. Um, and one of the things that I really like about it is that, you know, it's my own bike. So once things get warmer, I can take my bike back out and it's, you know, I've, I've been training on the same bike indoors and outdoors. So it's my seat, my handlebars, uh, my gears. Um, the other thing that I really like about uh, Zwift is the ability to join uh, group rides. So, you know, if I'm riding on a 8 a.m. morning on a Saturday, uh, we have the extra audio open and it feels like I'm really riding, you know, virtually with, with people I know and, and being able to have that um, 
interaction has been made it much easier to adjust. I didn't think that I was going to like it as much as I did. No, that's, that's awesome to hear. And it's, it's one of those things too. It's definitely what you make of it. Um, you know, you've been on, on a lot of the, the group rides, uh, a lot of the, the group ride chats, and it's just incredible the amount of information that folks will share on, on those group rides. And it, it's almost a little easier to have those conversations than when you're actually group riding outside because not everyone's close enough together or you can't hear each other. So it, it's been a, a, a real learning experience for a lot of the newer members to, to be able to hear what some of the other folks that have been doing it for a while, what kind of advice they have, or even if they have questions, uh, I've, I've seen every type of, of question get asked, um, you know, from the most technical question to um, a question from folks just starting out. And everyone's just been, been more than happy to, to share their experiences and to help out. So uh, I'm happy to hear that the, the group rides uh, have been able to, you know, give you a, a little bit more um, insight into, you know, travel on itself and, you know, just to have a reason to, to wake up and, and hop on. Yeah, definitely. And it makes it go faster. It, you know, a two hour, two and a half hour bike ride really does not feel like it's two and a half hours. All right. That, that's the best part too, <laughs> especially when you're inside. Yeah, um, definitely. So, so going into the, the year you're, you know, you're starting the training, um, what races do you have lined up for, uh, 2022? Oh, for 2022. So I signed up for uh, the, I guess it's a New Jersey five pack. Um, and oh, DQ. I, right, right. The, yes, I will be doing uh, at least five of those. Uh, and then uh, I'll also be doing a 5k with uh, my son for uh, the Makefield, uh, lower Makefield elementary school. So that'll be a lot of fun. Looking back, uh, looking forward to getting back into the water though. Right. And, and that's, it's real cool that you mentioned that. So your, your son is what, eight years old? Yep. Yep. He's almost nine. Third grade. Almost nine. So it's, it's, it's part of the experience, you know, like doing triathlon for a while and then having kids and then uh, get, getting to the point where, where they can train with you. That that's just a, a wonderful experience. Ha, has he, uh, you know, been curious about why mom's on, on a trainer, you know, watching uh, a video game bike in the morning. Uh, Has any of that come up? Um, well, so we actually set it up. So there's another bike that's next to me. So oh, wow. um, he, <laughs> it, 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 it's something that either my son can ride or his, um, my husband can ride it, depending on how much they're on it. It's not, it's connected to my old trainer. Um, but it gives them the opportunity to like kind of jump on. So some of the rides he's been on there with me and he's been very helpful when I, um, you know, I need a, a fresh bottle of water, uh, or to take the dog out. So it's, he, <laughs> it's it, and I think it actually is getting him into, uh, getting a little bit more physically active because, you know, he asked me to join, uh, the 5k. So it gives me the ability to go out with him and he rides with me. So it's, it's fun. Oh man, that, that's just the, the best when, when you're able to, to share that experience. Cause my, my son is seven and he is gotten to the point where he's comfortable enough on, on the bike to, to come out on the trail and, and accompany me on, on runs as well. So that's, that's just a, a great experience. You know, when, when your training buddies, um, uh, evolve into to having your kids involved as well. Definitely. Uh, so you know, with um, you being off and on with triathlon um, and coming back into it uh, again this year, what what advice do you have for those that are, you know, coming back into it or, or even those that are, are new to the sport um, as they look at potentially doing a triathlon after a, a long layoff or even doing their first race? Yeah. Yeah. Um- so a couple pieces of advice that I have to tell myself on a regular basis and I would tell anybody else is that, you know, if you're getting, uh, getting into a triathlon or um, getting back into it, or even if uh, it's just a, your first race, it, remember that 
you're competing against yourself. You know, don't worry about if somebody's faster than you. Don't worry if somebody finishes before you. Um, it, it's your game. It's your race. And really strive to um, to do better than you did the last time. That That is probably the biggest advice that I have to remind myself, um, especially since, uh, you know, I'm highly competitive with myself. But um, always, you know, stay positive and realize that it, it's it's your race. Now that that's that, that's great advice, and even even on like the the Zwift rides. So you know, weekly uh, or every other week, we have the the free ride where where there's some type of climb involved. And you know, even though everyone's on the the Discord, encouraging each other, chatting, I know that you know individually, everyone is is trying to to beat their time on on something like Alp du Zwift. From, from the last climb. So it's it, a lot of it is is remembering that, you know, the the opportunity to to better yourself is is their number one goal, right? And the nice thing about the the club is ever there's people across all types of experience levels and abilities. Um, and at the end of the day it's it's the individuals trying to beat or I guess uh, further what they've done in, in the past. So that that's really good feedback to not get caught up with what others are, are doing around you, but to, to use it as, as motivation and encouragement. Yep. Totally. hundred um, percent. So, yeah. so speaking of it, encouragement, you're, so you're at the end of a, a tough workout or getting toward the end of a tough workout. Maybe it's, you know, the, the last section of Alp du Zwift or you're in a race and you know, you're in the last like quarter mile gets really <laughs> tough and, and you want to pull the plug. Do you have anything that you say to yourself or any mantras to, to give you that last bit of a push? Yeah. I was just going to say like, uh, do you mean like the Alp du Zwift that we had a month ago where <laughs> I sat on my bike and climbed you know, a thousand kilometer kilometers on over three hours on my trainer. Oh my goodness. Those last two kilometers are just the worst. Um, but it, what it really comes down to, and it comes down to those last, those last bits. And, you know, I remind myself that, um, I have done harder things. I can finish this out. It's only, you know, it's, it's three more minutes. It's two more minutes. Um, sometimes I have to yell at myself and be like, come on, joy. You really, you know, you can do this and going this far, you you know that your body can handle just a, just a couple minutes more. And then when you're done, then you remind yourself, you know, you know, you say your, your future self, see, I told you I could do it. Um, and that's, uh, what I've had to remind myself on long rides, long climbs, long walks, um, that you can finish it. You just have to yell at yourself a little bit. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of a self-encouragement. It sounds like you do a little bit of like the, the backward counting too, when you say, okay, like three minutes left, two minutes left, one minute left. Yep. Totally. Countdown. You know, you can do it. You can see the end. Oh, that, that's great. So we'll, we'll wrap up um, with a, a couple fun questions. So what would you say is your favorite purchase in the, the last six months that was $100 or under and it doesn't have to be triathlon related? Yeah. So um, this is really silly. Um, and I, and I thought about, you know, what would I, what is, what, you know, what is a good purchase that I made? And, and <laughs> um, you know, those little air tags that, uh, that, uh, Apple puts out or like yeah, the, those, the those trackers. Like, yeah. I bought like five of them. Um, I have them on my keys. I have them in my wallet. I have them on my AirPods because I always lose my AirPods. So uh, I would say it's like such a little silly thing, but um, they really have helped. Uh, and they make like a little noise when when you can't find your keys. They'll just like let you know they're in, they're in your pocket, probably where they always were. No, that that's a great one. I actually just bought AirTags as well um, to put on things like the even like the remote for the TV. Um, yes. 
it in the wallet, it's if you think about it in keys, uh, yep. just thinking about the amount of time we lose looking for those things. And yep. especially in, in the morning with getting the kids off to, to school and you're, you're running around looking for that kind of stuff. Um, I found the, the air tags just very, very helpful for that. And uh, more related to, to triathlon, it's I've seen articles where people will put them into their bikes. So oh. if their bikes get stolen or, or misplaced, they can use the, the air tags to, to locate them. And then nice. I think I've, I've seen athletes use them um, out on a race for family members to track their location as well. Oh, nice. Um, so that's a, a couple of, of use cases I've seen um, specific triathlon, but that that's a, a great recommendation on the, the air tags. And uh, it's, it's kind of cool to see there's other people besides me that, that think they're like <laughs> the best thing ever. Yep, absolutely. Awesome. So the, the last question, uh, a fun question, would you rather run a half marathon uh -huh. or do the Alp du Zwift? I would do the Alp du Zwift again. <laughs> so you really don't like running. I really don't like running. I, I will <laughs> run, but check me again in uh, three weeks. All right, we'll see. So that, that's all we had, Joy. Thanks for uh, joining us and, and sharing some of your experiences. And we'll look forward to, to seeing you out there this year. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Take care.